Time now for the NFT nominee presented by Candy. Well, Manny Machado is on fire, and he continued his torrid pace on Sunday, going four for four with three doubles and a triple in the Padres' 10-1 victory over the Giants. So Machado is now, get this, batting a whopping 374 on the season. Yes, San Diego completed the sweep over the Gigantes and are now half a game back of the Dodgers in the NL West. So X, are the Padres the biggest threat to the Dodgers in the West? 100% without a doubt. Going into the season was a different story. I, I didn't think it was a different story. I knew the Padres would be a threat to them. I, I look at the threat. Giants. I look at the Giants, what they did last year. That, that was cool and all, but now you have guys that have cooled off. When you talk about Belt, when you talk about Crawford, when you talk about Ruff, um, some of their offensive production, I look at what the Padres have as uh, in depth. They didn't have that last year. And I even look at Machado, you mentioned, we, you just mentioned him. He's got MVP caliber numbers already. And if he continues what he's doing, he's going to be able to carry them. But they also get back Fernando Tatis Jr. soon. Yep. So that's the one thing now he's going to come into play. But I, when I talk about the depth, I'm looking at the rotation. I'm looking at the bullpen. I'm looking at defensively. This team is there. Everything is right on track with what they need to do. And I think they, they pose the biggest threat to the Dodgers to me. I think for the Padres, what's crazy to me is you talk about Fernando Tatis Jr. He's one of the greatest players in the game by far. Might even be the best player in the game uh, as far as offensively, what he brings, emotion, um, ability, everything. But they have pitching. They've uh, they've had pitching for a while. But you, you talked about that rotation goes about seven deep. Yeah. The guys that are true quality major league pitchers that you could put in the top three of most rotations in baseball. And they go seven deep with that. That they've, they've suffered some injury issues already early this season outside of Fernando Tatis. Right. You could talk about this lineup and the fact that they haven't really produced offensively to a level that you expect outside of Machado, but I think they're starting to come around. They get Fernando Tatis back in a month or two, whenever that is. Uh, you, you put that pitching with that, and they start to get healthier because they have some pieces in the bullpen that they've been missing. This team is really, really scary. Of course, for the Dodgers, but for anybody in the NL and anybody in baseball, this team can make that push for a World Series. I will say about the Giants, they had a great year last year offensively. They still have scored the fourth most runs in baseball so far this year. I think that's for real, and I think they'll keep doing that. What I think is their pitching hasn't been to the level it was last year. They got some really surprising production out of Anthony DiSclefani last year. Alex Wood has always been pretty good. He hasn't quite gotten off to the same start this year, but I still like him. I think they can get to that point where they're playing better baseball than they have so far, and they played very well so far, but I still think the Padres are that number two team or even 1B to the Dodgers 1A. And even to touch on the, the the injuries that you mentioned, I look at just yesterday, they get bad news on Clevenger, yep. and you still have Mackenzie Gore step up and do what Crazy. he's done. He's a guy that's they've been talking about piggybacking. So when you have guys that can step up and do what he did yesterday to a good Giants team, and you yep. talk about the offense, that's what I've been impressed with. They've won seven of their last nine games on the road. This is a team winning on the road. Very impressive. And Taylor Rogers, of course. This is a team that has been going for it the last four or five years since they realized they had a superstar in the game. Yeah. They just, when I say go for it, they keep adding talent. Manny Machado worth the contract, right? You talked about their pitching. They go out and get Snell, Clevenger, Darvish, Manaya this past year. It's starting to finally come together. And the last thing I want to say about them is it's Bob Melvin. I was they just going to say, don't forget about <laughs> Bob they Melvin. They went and got Bob Melvin. Yeah. That's why it's starting to come together. That's why it's starting to look like this. They are a threat to not just their own division, the whole NL. Yeah, I completely agree with you. The Padres, by the way, 5-4 and four against teams over 500. Meanwhile, the Giants are 7-13 and 13 against opponents who are uh, playing with winning records. Okay, there's a look at the Manny Machado NFT created by Candy. So Machado looking to continue that MVP pace as the summer approaches. Go to candy.com slash MLB TV now to pick up NFTs of Manny Machado or any of your favorite MLB stars today.